Hey everyone, welcome once again to the My Color Screen channel. My name is Marco and today's video is going to be a beginner home screen tutorial teaching you exactly how to set up a great looking home screen. So if you're a complete beginner or enjoy minimal looking themes or both, then you definitely want to go check out this video. Let us begin. Great, so like I said, this is going to be a home screen tutorial, especially for the beginners out there. And this one here titled Timeline, it's simply doing amazingly well on the My Color Screen site as it's by the author Gary Arts. And that's all I have to say. I can pretty much just stop there. I mean, Gary Arts, what he does to themes is simply amazing. And this minimal one here is no exception. It's got that timeline feel on each one of the two screens here. You've got, say, your call that shows you your notifications here for your messages, your emails as well. And it's also got a few jump to shortcuts, such as your web, your browser, I mean, as well as your camera. You've got your app drawer here that by selecting it will open up your app drawer. And swiping to the other side, we've got our battery percentage over there. We've got a few more shortcuts that we can jump to this one over here jumps to our recent ones which is actually quite a nifty little trick right there and then finally you got the music at the bottom completes this amazing looking theme it all comes together with these a very pastel looking blue orange and pink style colors that come through each one of the, the two pages it's a simply amazing theme you definitely have to go try it out so in this video tutorial I'll be explaining to you guys well the beginners out there and the minimal lovers exactly how to recreate this home screen let us begin Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Let me just open up my app drawer and let you know what apps that you'll be needing. First up, it's very special and it's truly amazing. It's called Zuper Widget and you need Zuper Widget to install the widgets basically or the skins that are on the two pages and you need the pro version as the free one just cut, doesn't cut it. It can't put in custom templates which you need to be applying. So you definitely want to go check out Zuper Widget Pro. Next, you'll be needing a good custom launcher. The one that I'm using here is Nova Launcher but this pretty much works with any launcher including Thema which I'll get to later. So a custom launcher is recommended and finally I recommend going for a file explorer I recommend ES file explorer simply because it's free and it's very easy to use and navigate through each one of the pages so that's pretty much it that's all you need so once you've got all the apps that you need you definitely want to go check in the link in the description below for the resources that you'll be needing you just need to download it and extract it using an unzipping program for example WinRAR and either copy it onto your computer and then onto your phone or directly onto your phone and that's everything that you need before you begin. So next we can begin to start setting up this theme. Great, so once you've got all your apps and resources onto your phone, next we need to be copying the Zuper widget files into their rightful place. So you just want to open up your uh, file explorer and navigate to that folder that you've copied onto your phone. It's probably going to be called timeline underscore MCS. And you want to look for those two Zuper widget files. And you know that they're Zuper widget files as they end in .zw. Now you just want to hold down on each of them and select both of them and you want to select copy. Once that's done you want to go back into your main directory, your SD card and you want to look for that folder called Zuper Widget. It should be under Z. So you want to look for that next folder called Templates and once that's done you just want to select Paste as that's going to now paste the two Zuper Widget files into their correct place and that's ready for the Zuper Widget widgets to be added once we get to that place later on. So once the Zuper widget files are in their rightful place, we want to be editing or customizing your launcher settings. So as I'm using Nova Launcher, I'm just going to simply hold down on the home screen and select that little wrench at the top there to get into my Nova Launcher settings. Next up, going to be jumping into the desktop here and then from here into my desktop grid. Now I went for a 9x7, but honestly, it doesn't really matter what size you go for. Obviously, don't go for like a 1x1. One one. But if it's anything more than a 9x7, nine by nine by it should be good as you simply, there's only two widgets that need to be added. There's no icons, so it's, you're pretty much good to go. So not too much hassle there. Your margins, you want to be on none. Search bar, you want to be off. Regarding scroll effects, that's all up to you. And the only thing that you do want to have enabled is resize all widgets, as obviously you want to be resizing the widgets that you're going to be adding. If we go back now, the dock, you want that to be disabled. Definitely want to have a dock right here. And then finally, we've gone to our look and feel. We don't want to have a navigation bar at the top. I mean, who needs it anyway? So we want to deselect that. So make sure that that's disabled like that. So once that's done, we're going to go back. That's all of our Nova Launcher settings complete. Now all you have to do is clear your screen of any widgets or apps. So if they are there, you just want to drag them either into the X at the top, or you can just simply hold down on them and select remove. 
which sometimes is a lot easier. So you make sure that you have two completely blank screens as now we're going to be changing the wallpaper. So in order to change this wallpaper, very, very easy to do. We simply have to hold down on the home screen and select wallpapers. Next up, you're going to be choosing your preferred gallery app. I always like to go for quick pick. And from here, you just want to navigate to that folder that you've copied onto the phone. That's going to be your timeline underscore MCS. And there it is. It pops up right there. So I'm just going to be selecting it now. And it doesn't matter where you put it as it's all one color. Awesome color at that. So I'm just going to be selecting OK right now. And it's going to set up this wallpaper for me like that. Great. And that is your wallpaper complete. Next up, we're going to be adding in our Zupo widgets. Great, so this is pretty much the final step. And in order to add in these Zupo widgets, they're extremely easy to add. You simply have to hold down on the home screen, select widgets. And from here, you want to jump down all the way to the bottom under Z for Zupo Widget Pro. Now, it doesn't really matter what size you go for. Say if I go for a 5x2, as you're going to be resizing it anyway. And I do recommend resizing it from the start, as it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So I'm just going to make it touch the top and the bottom. Give a little space for the sides right there. And next up, I'm just going to be selecting it to open it up like that. Now, all you have to do is go into your SD card. As you remember, we copied those Super Widget files into the right place. And here they've appeared right here. So for the first page, you want to look for the one called Timeline 1. You're going to be selecting it like that. Very, very easy to do. Now, the only thing I recommend you do is select Widget on Tap Action. As you don't want to be opening this editor each time you select it. And all you have to do now is select Disabled. So now what happens is if I go back and let's see what it looks like. It just needs to do some loading and bam, there it is like that. We can test it out if it works. Yep. Now all you have to do is do the exactly the same thing to the next screen as I've done right here. And that is the screen complete. You're always welcome to leave it unedited. And what I mean by that is for the Zupa widget to disable that widget on tap action will not make it disabled. And then from here, you can always go into your layout and change it accordingly by editing the various hotspots. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I recommend you watch the complete guide to Super Widget. Check in the link in the description below for more details. But other than that, this is this home screen complete. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out the official My Color Screen app titled Thema. It is available on the Google Play Store. Check in the link in the description below for more. And as you may have noticed that I've recreated this theme in Thema. As you can see, this is all Thema and it was very, very easy to do. So you're not limited to only the themes that are available. You can just make your own. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.